Hey guys, Super Melee here, coming at you with an Agni tutorial video. This tutorial is aimed more towards new players, so I'll be covering a few extra basics that the game might not explicitly lay out for you. To begin, choose the Mercenary class. To view your quest log, press the Q key. You can also click on the quest details on the right side to bring up the same quest window. Continue the beginner tutorial areas until you reach the first main town, Bellows. Pressing Q to see the quest log again, navigate to the guide tab to see available quests based on your level. If you're ever lost wondering where your next quests are located, this is a nice way to find them. Speak to NPC Aces for your first real quest in the game. Click the Details tab to view extended information on the quest at hand. This NPC also has a quest which gives you your very first pet. This is an extremely important step, so make sure to grab your first pet, the Handsome Egg. Let's begin the first couple of quests of the beginner quest line. If you click the Task Area button, the map will open up and reveal the location related to that quest. Here we can see that we need to go to the forest area. If we zoom into the forest area, we can see that it's connected to the town of Belos, which we're currently in. So if we open up the Belos map, we should be able to see the portal to forest area. During quests, you'll need to pick up quest items. You can pick them up by hand one by one with the default key spacebar, or you can activate automatic pet looting. To activate automatic pet looting, first equip your pet. You can find your pet in your inventory windows in the pet tab. Double click your pet or drag your pet to the pet window bound by pressing the L key. The pet window contains a tab labeled skills. In this tab, you can find the icon labeled Automatic Loot. Click this icon to activate or deactivate automatic pet looting. Continuing on to the next map, the quest log explains that we must complete our first set of quests with the NPC aces in this area. But first, press the up arrow key on the large stone memorial. This will allow you to warp back to this location later. Pressing the Y key will open up the Waypoint menu. Any stone memorial you activate will be highlighted in these menus and will be available to warp to if you've used the Waypoint Charger item to extend your Waypoint's duration. Once we turn in the completed quest to this NPC, more quests will be available at this same NPC. This is the consistent format of the beginner quest line. To explain further, one NPC will give you a set of quests. When you complete the requirements, you turn in your quests to a different NPC. The second NPC gives you quests to turn in at a third NPC, and so on. Continue this process until you reach level 50 for your first class change. At level 50, you'll automatically get a quest which gives you a new warp capsule. Use the warp capsule to teleport to the class change center. You will need to unequip your weapon in order to perform your class upgrade. You will also need to have free space in your inventory. Failure to do so may leave you confused as to why the class change event doesn't pop up on your screen. Additional class changes occur at level 100 and 170. The Agni Soul is an Agni-specific piece of equipment that you'll use during your entire journey as an Agni. To upgrade it, you'll first need various types of shards, which are obtained by breaking down certain gear. To break down gear, click the hammer icon in your inventory window, and then click on a piece of armor. The shards obtained from a successful breakdown will show up in the bottom left of your screen in your chat window. Agni Soul can also be enchanted, so grab some enchant puzzles from an NPC in the town who sells them. 
All of these stats on the right can be enchanted onto the soul. To enchant them further, first upgrade the Agni Soul. Skill builds may vary from player to player. I'm going to run through an example of a higher level build to demonstrate the basics of skill building and skill growth. First, I max out each mastery, which is necessary to be able to use the attack skills. For this build, I opt out of the novice level skills and grab all the others. Starting from the level 170 class change, you can access the skill growth tab on the bottom left of the skill window. Place your maxed out skills into this window and click apply. Using your skills more and more, you'll fill up the EXP bar for that skill. Each skill will level up and you can see the effect of each level up by hovering over the skill icon on the left. Drag the skill icon from the skill window into the hotkey bar on the top to assign the skill to a button. With the leftover points after attack skills, the second tab can be customized to the player's preference. In this build, after picking up strength control, I opt into the release skill tree for its raw damage, along with maxing out that tree's critical damage and critical rate. On the right side, I want to also max out extra sensory for its cooldown reduction, since skill cooldown can be an issue for this class earlier on. The rest of the skill points can be put into various damage sources, speed, or defense. The third skill tab contains Agni special skills. The topmost skills become available at level 170, and you'll have to choose only one of the two skills. The rest of the skills will become available as you level up further. Agnes have a unique shield to protect them. The red armor point gauge at the top represents the remaining strength of the shield. As you take damage, the armor gauge will deplete. Once the gauge is depleted, the shield will disappear and will regenerate over a fixed period of time. During the downtime, you'll take damage to your HP instead. Agni also has a passive lava wave that appears randomly over time. However, it only appears when the Agni shield is active. Special Agni is a temporary active buff that increases your damage and critical rate. It also allows you to summon Lava Hounds upon activating three specific skills, Magma Blast, Magma Spear, and Inferno. Here are the three skills before special activation. Here they are again after activation. This time, Lava Hounds appear when the skills are cast. This covers the basics you'll need to know to tackle your adventure as the Agni class.